when you've worked with people all these years, you really don't like to give them up. So they're people, they're not numbers for us. And so it's very challenging. And that the meeting is met with sincerity. So Commission Chair Susan Brager is correct. Carving out seven equal commission districts is much like putting together a jigsaw puzzle. I don't like these things. I don't like fingers that jut in and tails that jut out. Helping the board put together those pieces is redistricting expert David Heller. Sometime this summer, Mr. Heller will present the seven commissioners with a map for their approval, redrawing the commission lines that will serve as their elected districts for the next 10 years. There are many, many factors that go into it, one of which is where do, where do the commissioners live? The, ultimately, my job is to get a map that seven commissioners can be happy with. Uh, I don't think we have to reinvent the wheel. I don't think we have to start from scratch here. I think preserving the core of each of the seven districts is, is very important and, and, a, and, and a good thing. The size of New Jersey, Clark County stretches from Laughlin to Mesquite. That vast geography aside, Mr. Heller must consider several factors when drawing new commission districts. Preserving communities of interest, minority representation, respecting current neighborhoods, and the Federal Voting Rights Act are cornerstones of redistricting. This piece of Summerlin for you, and this piece of Summerlin for you, and this piece of Summerlin for you. The tricky part is coming up with a magic number of about 278,000. Clark County's total population is just over 1,951,000. Divide that by seven, and each equally apportioned commission district should contain about 278,752 people. The outer portions of the county are growing very quickly, and, and that the core of the city of Las Vegas is not growing very quickly, and that presents a series of challenges. You have seven members of the commission, um, some of whom are dramatically underpopulated, like Mr. Weekly, some of whom, like Mr. Sisolak, are dramatically overpopulated. And, uh, and, and, you know, shaping those in a way that puts everybody at, at zero or close to zero deviation, that's a real challenge. The disparity between the seven commission districts is dramatic. Commissioner Sisolak's District A is the largest in Clark County, more than 361,000 residents and that far eclipses the 199,000 people who live in District D and are represented by Commissioner Lawrence Weekly. But it's sad in a way because I have to lose 50,000 people, some have to gain 80,000, some have to lose 60,000. We want to get input from the public. We want to make sure that the public's voice is heard. A series of redistricting workshops and forums are happening and Clark County will continue to seek public input every step of the way. For up-to-date redistricting information, visit www.clarkcountynv.gov.